Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mike's Positively Technical World Video Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at the Works WG322. It works 25cm 10 inch uh, brushed chainsaw. It's the entry level chainsaw in the chainsaw market. We're going to be going to have a look at it. Without further ado, let's uh, stick it on the bench and let's have a look at it up close and personal. Okay guys, here we have it. WG322. Um, it is, as I said, works entry level into the chainsaw market with a brush model. Uh, it does feature an auto oiler on the top here. And you can see that it's got a fill level indicator there. It's currently filled to the brim. And all you do is you pop your favourite brand of chainsaw oil in. Um, I use no nonsense stuff that's available from Screwfix. Um, it's just very decent quality and it's pretty cheap for what it is. I think half a litre costs around about four or five pounds. Um, it's also worth noting that the chain of this is self-tightening. Uh, it's got a self-tightening mechanism, which is actually a works patented thing. Unscrew it there, and it's full of magic inside using that cam feature. You can see I've used this quite extensively already. It's too bad really my experience but if I have a look at it we'll see what it can do um, just obviously activate that I need to pull the blade make sure obviously you've got nothing in the battery and make sure it's safe just pull the tension down just to make sure it's got around about three to five mil underneath the O is approximately the middle of the bar considering the whole length and just tighten that up It's got an amicable amount of slack. It's probably a little bit too tight, so I'm just going to back it off a tiny amount. Not that much. There you go. And then more tension basically you put on this. The longer it will last, if you like. It does also lubricate, so as it goes around, obviously it lubricates the chain. Uh, the chain speed on this is actually incredibly low. Uh, it's 3.8 meters a second, which is it's, it's, it's dinosaur pace, let's be honest, but it does mean it's very safe for a first time user. This here is actually a guard for your hand. This isn't actually a, uh, a lever like it is on the larger chainsaws. This can be a chain lock, if you like. It's got an electronic brake on it, which means that the bump stops on these aren't actually required. They're not like spikes. So they have bump spikes normally on a full size uh, petrol chainsaw. They aren't required on this because it does have a intelligent electronic anti-kickback device. That means that you don't need the bump stops there. Um, it's also got a safety switch on the side and then a standard single-handed operated trigger. I would highly recommend, especially if you're a new user to a chainsaw, that you use your right hand or your dominant hand to operate the trigger and you use your left hand as a support. Either way you find it, if you're doing a sideways cut, use it like that. If you're using downward cut, use it like that. Um, that said, I'd also highly recommend that you invest in some basic safety equipment. This is a forestry hat. It's called a forestry hat due to the fact being that foresters use it. <laughs> it's not really that uh, complicated. Uh, it is a mesh screen, so it's designed to absorb and deflect things like small chips and bits of wood from your eyes. I'd also highly recommend that you invest in a set of safety specs. I've got a pair of prescription safety specs that I use, they're these. Uh, they're made by JCB, other brands are available, I'm sure, but they're just available from spec savers. They look a bit goofy, but they'll save your eyes. You've only got one set of eyes, guys, and look after them. Uh, I'd also recommend, even though it's electric and it is quite quiet, use some ear defenders at all times. That just protects your hearing uh, as it does chew through the wood. It does make a bit of noise, and I highly recommend that you do that. Also, whilst obviously carrying the saw, we're going to make sure the train cover is on. And although we're going to have a battery, I'm going to be using a two amp battery for the purpose of this test. This is only the baby brush version. Um, I'm going to be making sure that I don't put this in until the time where we need to actually start cutting. Um, and that's just purely based on safety. Uh, it's also worth noting that this version was originally actually based on an American uh, only model, which had a uh, bit of a fandangle thing. As you can see at the back here, there's this open groove and a little screw hole there. You may have been wondering what that is. There's also like a claw lock here. 
and that was actually designed this was originally designed as a pole um, saw uh, but at 3.1 kilos it was quite heavy and uh, yeah wasn't the best design I think in the world they since have made a lot lighter design versions but that was one of its quirky features uh, when it was in the US and it's been taken over here to the UK and refined basically by getting rid of the pole um, that said obviously it still doesn't detract it's still quite a capable piece of kit and to show you just how capable we're going to take it outside and use it let's go for it um, this is a piece of four inch by four inch wood and it is quite wet as well but i'm just going to show you how efficiently it cuts through this i'm just going to start it off on the bump and go straight through it Another one, don't mind if it does. So it's not too bad really. Um, it's a little bit slow I think, but then again it is an entry level chainsaw. Um, let's have, see how it cuts through a piece of a bit of seasoned log. We're just going to move over to the log stand and have a look through that. Okay, guys, season log. Uh, it's about four inches in diameter as well. <laughs> nice and easy. Like I said, for the smaller stuff, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't really think it's that good for the heavier juicy stuff but it's certainly small bits and pieces chopping up maybe if you've got a log fire absolutely fantastic when it comes to much larger logs the WG322 does seem to struggle this is about a 6 by 7 log Just bogs down there a little bit, but it's still pretty good at cutting it. It's not too bad. Uh, there are certainly, if you start to go much bigger than this, there are other chainsaws out on the market you might want to consider. So, ladies and gentlemen, the works WG322. What do I think of it? Um, I think this is a tale of two sides. I think really, if you are a commercial uh, arbitrist, I think this is going to be so slow, it's going to be frustrating, and it's not going to have a pe uh, place in your arsenal, if you like. If you are a DIYer in the garden, and you're a first-time user of a chainsaw, or looking to get into chainsawing, but don't want to put out a huge amount of outlay, and you also don't want a machine that is really aggressive, and potentially going to injure yourself with, I'm not saying this is 100% safe. I am just saying that it's low bar sp uh, chain speed of 3.8 meters per second, and uh, it's relatively uh, less aggression, uh, but it's also got still got capability. It will sit there and it will slowly chew through wood rather than going through it like a hot knife through butter. Uh, obviously, imagine if you slipped and you know you, uh, you start to attack an appendage of your uh, body. Um, this is going to do a lot less damage uh, to it than a high-speed chainsaw. Therefore, the slow chain speed on this is going to really, really be in your favour. Uh, that said, obviously, you're going to be sitting there thinking, oh, is this what a chainsaw is? Don't be fooled. This is a lower end chainsaw with a smaller uh, chain speed. And obviously, works do make higher end chain speeds. If you are an experienced chainsawist, arborist, or uh, garden user with a bit more demand, then there are products on the market which you should look at. That said, like I said, it is a really ideal piece of kit for a DIYer. And obviously, its price point, I think, is about £130. I think just an amazingly cheap piece of kit it is only a 10 inch bar or 25 centimeter so just bear that in mind with your expectations of the product but like i said it is quite capable of doing anything up to around about eight to nine inch uh, light logs no issues at all and it's an ideal thing if you've got a log burner chop up small pieces of wood no problems at all as always guys like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in the next video